Valley News Live, 10 at 10, continues with No Wait Weather. Robert, it was a beautiful start to our weekend, but... Yeah, a little breezy, but breezy. nice to see the sunshine finally know, later on this afternoon. that's what I'm so excited about. <laughs> Some folks over in Minnesota, you guys missed out on the sunshine, but you'll have your chance as we head through the day on Saturday. Right now, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Traffic along, moving along quite nicely. It is dry out there, anticipated to be dry right on through the weekend. We will see some sunshine as we head through the day tomorrow with a few clouds around, especially the further north you go. Current temperature 48 degrees. It feels more like 44 winds out of the south at 9. Not nearly as breezy as we were seeing yesterday or earlier today with those winds gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour. Down to 39 already up in Langdon. 45 Valley City in Jamestown. 41 in Grand Forks. 42 Thief River Falls, also 42 over in the Bemidji area. Winds much lighter now than they were earlier today and anticipated to stay light tonight and through the day on a Saturday. Did have quite a bit of cloud cover that made its way from west to east across the region, finally clearing on out. Still a few remnant clouds up in northern portions of Minnesota. We may see a touch of fog up in far northern Minnesota by tomorrow morning, but most of us will see some very clear skies. A lot of green on the radar, but that's just a little bit of interference with the local radar domes. No precipitation out there, and none is anticipated. Across the northern plains, up into Canada, mostly quiet, seeing a little bit of rain up in parts of uh, Quebec, down towards uh, the uh, Iron Range of Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. Other than that, it's pretty quiet across the northern plains. In fact, most of the western two-thirds of the U.S. quiet. You've got a little bit of rain and higher elevation snow of the Pacific Northwest. And in the northeastern U.S., some rain and some heavier rain over parts of western Maine. For us, as we head through the overnight hours tonight, any remaining clouds get on out of here. But again, we could see maybe a touch of fog up in northern portions of Minnesota. Elsewhere, so mostly clear skies. Get out there and uh, take a gander up to the uh, north. You may see the northern lights, although I checked it just a little bit ago. They're quiet right now, but... They're kind of fickle. They could ramp up at any time. As we head through the late morning and into the afternoon hours, may see a bit of cloudiness, mainly some high, thin, cirrus clouds and some thicker clouds across the north may spark off a shower or two across the far north. After topping out in the 50s and 60s, by tomorrow evening, we're going to cool it back down into the 40s. Here in Fargo, we're going to start off with another chilly morning, but not quite as cool as the past several mornings into the upper 30s to start off the day by lunchtime with plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds around some mid 50s. Then we'll continue with some cloudiness as we head through the afternoon and evening hours, but more sun than clouds and temperatures warming into the mid 60s. And again, it's going to be nice to see some very light winds as we head through your Saturday. Picture of the day. Thanks so much, Ken, for sending this in. Just a, I, I've looked at this so many times today and I like it. I love it every time I see it. Crake through an autumn landscape there. We're going to use that as the background of our seven day forecast. A beautiful weekend on tap. Some mid 60s Saturday with a few more clouds on Sunday, a touch cooler, some lower 60s there. Low 60s again Monday, but it's an extra hairspray day on Monday with some breezy conditions rolling on in. A touch cooler Tuesday and Wednesday with more clouds, a slight chance for some showers back into the 50s. More showers possible on Friday, but all in all, not too bad. 50s and 60s as we uh, get to the uh, end of October. And overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. I like that extra hairspray day. My hair would just like go like we this. We all need it. Mine's, mine's always <laughs> crunchy it? anyway. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. You got it. Well, an over.